and welcome brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. And today, Saturday, we are celebrating the Saturday of the 33rd week in ordinary time. We know that you have a lot of intentions that you pray for, especially those of you who have been with us for the longest time. You know that this is the place where you could place your intentions. So we encourage you, uh, type them out in the comment section in this stream and let us know. Sabihin niyo po sa amin upang sabay-sabay tayo na magdasal para sa mga intention na nasa inyong puso. And tag also your friends, friends and family that you would like to pray for. Let them know that we have one community and we have one family kung saan sabay-sabay tayo nagdadasal para sa ating Panginoon. And if you are blessed by this ministry, then please do so. Please share this ministry, share this into sh share this to your Facebook pages, share this to your friends. Let people know para lumaki po ang ating pamilya, lumaki ang ating healing Eucharist family. We thank you for all of your support, your spiritual support, your prayers, your financial support. Kailangan, kailangan po natin yan upang ipagpatuloy natin ang ating ministry na ito. We have as our priest presider today, Reverend Father Willie Benito, OFM. We will now begin our celebration. of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. Today, as we celebrate this Eucharist, we thank God for the many blessings we are receiving. And we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic and for the healing of all those who are afflicted by this virus. And also for protection for all of us. We also include the intention of this Mass as we pray for our personal intention. We also pray for the birthday uh, uh, celebrator, Don Ogayon, and we pray for all those who are also celebrating their birthdays today. As we prepare to celebrate this great mystery of Christ's love, while praying for all our intentions with all humility, let us now ask God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess oh, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness 
to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. As King Antiochus was just versing the inland provinces, he heard that in Persia there was a city called Elimais, famous for its wealth in silver and gold, and that its temple was very rich, containing gold helmets, breastplates, and weapons, left there by Alexander, son of Philip, king of Macedon, the first king of the Greeks. He went, therefore, and tried to capture and pillage the city, but he could not do so because his plan became known to the people of the city who rose up in battle against him. So he retreated and in, in great dismay withdrew from there to return to Babylon. While he was in Persia, a messenger brought him news that the armies sent into the land of Judah had been put to flight, that Lysias had gone at first with a strong army and been driven back by the children of Israel, that they had grown strong by reason of the arms, men, and abundant possessions taken from the armies that they had destroyed, that they had pulled down the abomination which he had built upon the altar in Jerusalem, and that they had surrounded with high walls both the sanctuary as it had been before and the city of Beth Sur. While the king heard this news, he was struck with fear and very much shaken, sick with grief because his designs had failed. He took this his bed. There he remained many days, overwhelmed with sorrow, for he knew he was going to die. So he called in all his friends and said to them, Sleep has departed from my eyes, for my heart is sinking with anxiety. I said to myself, Into what tribulation have I come, and in what floods of sorrow am I now? Yet I was kindly and beloved in my rule. But I now recall the evils I did in Jerusalem when I carried away all the vessels of gold and silver that were in it, and for no cause gave orders that the inhabitants of Judah be destroyed. I know that this is why these evils have overtaken me, and now I am dying in bitter grief in a foreign land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. Because my enemies are turned back, overthrown and destroyed before you, you rebuke the nations and destroy the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor shall the hope of the afflicted forever perish. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought to life light through the gospel.
de redim. And with your spirit. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, come forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Moses wrote for us, if someone, someone's brother dies leaving a wife, but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up a descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. And Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming of the age and to the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given to marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are children of God because they are ones who will rise. But the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called Lord, God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well, and they no longer dare to ask him anything. Brothers, sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, ating itong lahat, magandang hapon, magandang araw, o magandang gabi. Today's gospel is very tricky because the Sadducees actually they do not believe in the resurrection and actually their intention is very tricky because they want Jesus to be uh, seen as very ridiculous. You can just imagine questioning the resurrection or asking something about resurrection and yet they do not believe the resurrection. That is why this particular gospel talks about the resurrection and at the same time try to treat yung pong sagot sa ating pong Panginoong Yesu Cristo. But for us, God grant us immortality and that immortality comes from Christ Himself. At ito po ay napagwagian sa pamamagitan ng tinatawag po nating resurrection o pagkabuhay. Kaya e isa pong napagdandang bagay ang binibigyan ng diin ng ating pong ibanghedyo na sa kabila po ng lahat may plano ang Diyos sa atin. Mayroon po siyang magandang bagay na inihanda po sa atin. And that is eternal life. But then, we need to believe in this resurrection because Resurrection, as Jesus has been telling to us, anybody who believes in me will never die, but will have eternal life. Ito po ang pinakapuso ng ating pong ibanghelyo, ang pinakabibigyan niin ng tinatawag po nating resurrection. But then for all of us, madaling paniwalaan, pero mahirap pong sa buhay. Because as we live in this kind of world today, we are being tempted because of the Lord, because of the leaders of this world, to the point of we have forgotten to prepare ourselves at upang tayo yung maging karapat dapat sa tinatawag natin pagkabuhay. Naging distracted na po tayo sa maraming bagay. Kaya naman, Ang nangyayari po sa atin, we entertain things here. 
in this world to the point of being busy at naseset aside na po natin ang mga ibang bagay na mas mahalaga. Ang essential things that can define us, that can give us meaning at ito po ang ating pong relasyon o pakikipag-ugnayan natin sa Diyos. Sabi nga po mga kapatid, if we want to have a meaningful life and to be worthy of that resurrection, that after this life, we will be with God, then we need to live our life in preparation for the life God has prepared for us. Ito po isang biyaya ng Diyos. Para kung sinasabi po sa atin, meron po tayong destiny and that destiny is to be with God. At isa pong napakagandang bagay na dapat po natin makita. If we believe that we are destined at tayo po ay para sa Diyos, gagawin po natin ang lahat para maging karapat dapat tayo sa Diyos. Ang immortality, ang buhay na walang hanggan kasama ng Diyos. Kahit anuman po ang ilus natin, anuman ang ginagawa natin, anuman ang iniisip natin, anuman ang sinasabi po natin, ito po ay dapat geared towards the resurrection na mapahalagahan po natin ang buhay natin pagdating sa kabila sa pamagitan po natin ng pagsasabuhay natin dito pa lamang. That is why no wonder we are called the resurrected uh, people. Kasi tayo po ay niligtas, tayo po ay biniyayaan, tayo po ay pinagaloban ng Diyos ng buhay na walang hanggan. Kung ganun po mga kapatid, yung pong suffering na meron po tayo, yung paghihirap na pinagdadaanan natin, because we have that resurrection, nagkakaroon po ng meaning, nagkakaroon po ng halaga. At kapag tinitan po natin, then just imagine, tayo po ay kakaiba sa lahat ng pinigha ng Diyos. Dahil pinaghandaan tayo ng Diyos ng buhay. Inihanda niya po sa atin ang pagkakataon upang tayo ay kanya makasama. Ito po yung sinis-celebrate natin when we talk about resurrection. It is not just about the life after to ay magkakaroon ng buhay, kundi ito po ay kumpul sa buhay na darating kasama ang Diyos. Isang biyaya ng Diyos, isang napagandang pagpapahayag ng Kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. Kaya sa araw po ito, we are being reminded, do not worry, brothers and sisters, if you feel discouraged, if you feel lonely, if you are sick, if you are struggling, if you have problems, God is with you. Kailanman, hindi kanya pababayaan. All we need is really to trust the Lord and to give everything to Him. At ang lahat po ay magiging maayos dahil batid po natin na ang Diyos ang siyang nangangasiwa, ang Diyos ang siyang may control sa lahat ng bagay. And so, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist, we thank God with a grateful heart. Pasalamatan po natin siya sa biyaya na matapos ang buhay kung ito ay kanyang inihanda sa buhay sa kabila. At sabi nga po, death is not the end, but the beginning of life. And towards this life, God has prepared something. God has prepared life. And that is the resurrection. And that is the life with God. Amen. Amen. Prayer of being faithful. Brothers and sisters, today as we celebrate this Eucharist, we come together and we pray for our intention and in each intention, in each petition, that our response be Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who exercise a
in the church. May they be faithful in their service for the people of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered today, may we see everything through the eyes of faith that we may realize the ev that everything is God's gift to us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, may you grant us the healing we need and the, gra the grace to recover from the detrimental effects brought about by COVID-19. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Beloved, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God. For it is in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. And so it is right that all preachers serve you, and all redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of your charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Hosea Dinkula, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, religious deacons, and the intention of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters of Bethlehem sleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who bless you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family together, we call God our Father.
Today, with Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant these in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for peace. Peace in the good world. Peace in our country. Peace in our family. Peace in our hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we you are invited to partake in his holy meal. Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, may I invite you to pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick, that God may touch them and heal them. Kung kayo po ay katabi ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay na may karamdaman, o kaya ikaw mismo ay may nararamdaman, May invite you to touch the healing part or the aiding part sa inyong katawan, uh, inyong katabi, or healing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day, for the gift of life. Now, as we praise you, we give you thanks for everything that we have received. And we beg you, Almighty Father, to send us the healing touch of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, so that all our ailments, our sickness, our anxiety, and even our problems will be erased, will be taken away. And so we beg you, Heavenly Father, to grant us the grace of good health, 
to give us the healing we are asking you. Marami po kaming mga nararamdaman. Marami po kaming pinagdadaanan. Minsan ang mga sakit na nara-experience po namin, na nararamdaman po namin, ay nagiging dahilan ng aming pagkahina. And sometimes those obey. Father, we beg you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, to touch us, to heal us, to grant us the peace, kapayapang aming ilinudulog, ang kagalingan na aming hinihingi. Marami po kaming beses na nagalingan, marami po kaming beses na nanghina, marami po kaming pagkakataong nagtanong, Minsan iniisip namin, bakit ako pa ang may gantong karamdaman? Pero sa araw na ito, Panginoon, ayaan po mong purihin ka namin at itaas namin ang lahat ng aming mga pag-alilangan, lahat ng aming anxieties. Nang sa gayon, ang iyong pag-ibig, ang iyong mapagpagaling na kamay, ang siyang aming maramdaman sa gitna ng aming kahinaan, sa gitna ng aming pag-alilangan. Ipuhin mo po ang mga mahal namin sa buhay na may karamdaman, may nangihinang katawan, anumang mga tissues na kailangan pong palakasin ang mga dugong padaluhin ng sagayon, ang puso ay maging maayos ang tibok at magkaroon ng kalakasan ng kaluluwa at katawan Panginoon. Ganon din itinudulog namin sa iyo ang aming sariling karamdaman, ang aming sariling kahinaan. Pagalubuhin ito sa aming Panginoon ang kagalingan ng lakas. Kapatawaran sa aming kasalanan at sa gayon patuloy sa aming makapagbigod sa iyo, Panginoon, at makapagbigay puri sa iyo. Ibalik ang lakas na aming inaasamasang sampu ng aming mga mahal sa buhay. Nang sa gayon, ang lahat ng mga suliranin, ang lahat ng mga problema, ang lahat ng mga karamdaman ay mawala, bagpos ang mapalit, ay isang tunay na lakas na nagmumula sa iyo, pananampalataya, at higit sa lahat, maramdaman ang iyong pag-ibig, bunga ng kalakasan ang iyong tinatamasa. Ipaalala mo po sa amin na ikaw lamang ang bukod kami makapagpapagaling, ikaw lamang ang bukod kami makapagbibigay ng lakas, ikaw lamang ang makapagbabalik sa amin sa kaginghawahan. And so, dear God, our Father, we thank you for the life we have, you have given to each one of us. And now we praise you. We thank you, Father. And in your mercy, heal us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, your Son, to give us the strength to heal us so that we can may, we can go back to serving you, our Lord. Father, thank you very much. Heal us. And in your mercy, Father, we trust in you. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, in behalf of your healing Eucharist daily mass family, maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, sa at nakasama namin kayo ngayon and you led us to this beautiful to this beautiful Eucharist uh, and also for your healing prayer. Uh, yeah, announce lang po natin na tomorrow po is the Feast of Christ the King. So it's a very happy time for, for our Catholic Church. 
And tomorrow for our Healing Eucharist Sunday Mass, we will have our priest presider of uh, si Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SVD. And for you to join us, please, uh, uh, ito po ang mga paraan upang kayo po ay makasama namin sa celebration na ito. Kapamilya Channel, 6am to 7am po tayo ay magsama-sama. Or sa Teleradyo, 6am to 7am din po. Kung replay naman po ang nais ninyong makatch uh, sa Jeepney TV, 7am to 8am. At sa Sky Cable Channel 955, 10.15am to 11.15am. Or sa hapon po, 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. So yan po ang ating mga oras. Ngayon, kayo, kung kayo naman po ay subscriber ng TFC sa Asia and Guam, simulcast po ito ng Manila airing. So that's 6am to 7am. In North and Latin America, on Sunday, 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Pacific Time. Sa Europe and Middle East, po, specifically Saudi Arabia and London, on Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. po tayo. And if you are an I Want TFC subscriber, tayo po ay live streaming, so that's 6 a.m. And of course, video on demand. Um, isipin po ninyo kung oras ninyo magkakasama, kayo magkakasamang pamilya at Yun po ang oras na pwede niyong panuorin at makasama sa ating celebration tomorrow. Of course, nandiyan din po ang ating YouTube channel at ang ating Facebook page, sa Twitter at sa Periscope din po. So, ang dami pong paraan upang tayo magkasama-sama bukas the Healing Eucharist to celebrate the Solemnity of Christ the King with Reverend Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SVG. At dahil ho fiesta ng Christ the King, uh, meron din pong um, meron din pong feast day po no sa Christ the King Mission Seminary sa I Rodriguez I Rodriguez in Quezon City. Uh, may Holy Mass po at 4 p.m. and then there is a procession. So kung kayo po ay malapit doon, makipiesta po kayo sa 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 Christ the King diyan po sa I Rodriguez, I Rodriguez Senior Avenue in Quezon City. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much Father Willie. I believe that we find that the The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us now go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much once again, Father Willie. We will keep you in our prayers. Please keep us in yours.